Welcome to Black Laser Learning's Hydrographer's Toolbox. In this video series, we're going to discuss all the tools typical hydrographers use in their daily work. We'll talk about echo sounders and GPS systems and positioning. We'll talk about the principles of the equipment, what frequencies are important, why do we use different frequencies. We'll talk about positioning and planar coordinates and that scary term called geodesy. The hydrographer's toolbox is a live presentation based on some training that I've done for other organizations. And as indicated, there is a variety of tools used by a hydrographer that we hope to provide an overview of information on. Very specifically, we're gonna talk about single beam echo sounders how they work and what they're used for. We'll talk about the principles of multi-beam echo sounders. I can remember using my first multi-beam back in the 1990s. Uh, that technology has advanced significantly, but the principles of how they're used and the different components are roughly the same. We're gonna talk about positioning, using GPS, augmenting GPS positioning to get more accurate positions. We'll talk about plane coordinates. We'll talk about sub-bottom profilers. During this presentation, we will cover all different types of deployment options. There is going to be a, a wide ranging discussion of how the sensors are integrated into some of these systems and why the differences are important. We're going to talk a lot about positioning, how GPS forms the basis for our surveying position today, and some of the principles about GPS. Uh, you know, very simply, GPS does not penetrate water. It is for surface positioning. We use other techniques to utilize that surface position to determine a subsurface position, and we'll discuss those. When we're speaking about subsurface positioning, we'll talk about layback for towed systems. We'll talk about acoustic positioning for ROVs and other systems and how some of this positioning affects the use of autonomous underwater vehicles. There's a wide range of topics and a large number of modules. In addition to the hydrographer's toolbox, in the near future, you will see videos on side scan sonar and magnetometers. Uh, the side scan sonar is going to be a new advanced mission-based training program. The magnetometer video will, will be a, a short overview of using magnetometers so that you understand the basics involved. So the real question is, what, why are you watching this video? Well, you probably want a basic orientation to the tools that hydrographers use. But why is that important? Why is accuracy important? Why is it important to understand these tools? And the answer is the consequences of not doing the job properly are huge. In the Delaware River, a tanker hit a submerged anchor in Delaware in an anchorage that had been surveyed. There was a huge oil spill. The oil spill was so big it affected a power plant, a nuclear power plant to be specific, had to shut down because it's cooling. it didn't have access to cooling water because of the oil spill. The cleanup alone was $267 million. There was 27 million in restoration and 71 million to the vessel owner. The cost of a hydrographic survey at the time with techniques that would have prevented that disaster, probably on the order of five to $10,000. Yet not doing it cost millions. If we look at this chart, there is a channel and the channel has some some color contours showing very shallow water moving into the center of the channel. And you'll see there's a ship's track here that skirts those shallow waters and another ship's track that doesn't. 
This is why this information is so important. Ships need safe passage. So that gives you some idea of what we're going to cover in the hydrographer's toolbox. I hope you find it useful. Let's get started.